thought I'd made the world. But see, we'd made this field. And your son's sons will take care of it, boy. The only thing I'd give up this field for would be to build a new hospice. Good evening, ma'am. I'm here with the rent for the field. Thank you, Mr. McCabe. Your anniversary would be coming up soon, ma'am. Yes, ten years next week. It is a long time for a woman to be in mourning. It is long enough. So what good is that field to you, ma'am, without a man to farm it for you? Sure, no use. It is young Tyg here. I'm trying to get him settled. Would you ever think of selling the field, ma'am? Ever? You know well enough that I've no son of my own. I think about it all the time. To be in good hands with us, ma'am. Good evening to you. Why are you taking down the sign? <laughs> uh, but did you ever hear the saying, we won the battle and lost the war? Yeah, what are you on about? Galway County Council gave us planning permission for a new hospice. We know that. But did you not hear that on board Planola refused permission? Why? We know the inspector fellow recommended the planning permission as long as certain conditions were met. As long as we protect the habitat. What does that mean? Keeping the hedgerows, planting replacement trees and putting up board and bat boxes. And it wasn't enough? Nothing will appease them. So now the bats and the birds won't be speaking to us. They were probably looking forward to new homes being provided for them. There's only one thing to do. Start at the beginning again. Precisely. Jesus, the widow. Lads, it's the widow. It's the widow. Jesus. I'm going to sell the field. It's the Bull McHale's field, ma'am, don't you know? He rents it from me. It was full of rocks when he got it, ma'am. It will be sold by public auction. What's the bull going to say about this? What's the bull going to say about this, lads? What? What? What's the bull going to say? Well, I don't know what he'll say, but he won't be happy. And which one of you would go against him? So she's putting up the field? That's right. By public auction. Men will make bids, bull. Bids? Who around here will insult me by bidding for my field? It might be outsiders, bull. Outsiders? Outsiders? Now take it easy, bull. Are they the same outsiders that drove us to the coffin ships? <laughs> that scattered us to the four corners of the earth? That's for sure. Uh, the English are gone, bull. Gone? Because I drove them out. Misha! Misha Agus Machoid! That's for sure. Gone but not forgotten. No outsider will bid against me. You're the bull! You're the bull! Well the widow will get 50 pounds off me for that field. The silly woman. The priest will get his Easter Jews and everyone will be happy in Shan Now, get everyone a drink of it. A decent man, four pints of stout. Which one is the Madonnaker? She's over there, bull. You put the yellow top. You see her. Is she good company? Well, no, she can talk, bull. <laughs> She'd want her. Tiger's no out of her. Yeah, she's a great pair of hips now. She'd bear me an air, are you? Evening, ladies. I'm not good enough for you. Who will dance at the 
Tinker's daughter. Will you? Will you dance with me? What about you? Will you dance with me? Ah, oh, you're all afraid that if you dance with the Tinker's daughter, you lose the soil under your feet. You could do worse, you know. You could do worse then lie under the stars with the tinker's daughter. Is there not one of you mad enough? Who'll dance with the tinker's daughter? I'll dance with the redhead. The bull will care and dance with you. No, Yank. Uh, welcome to Shanwar. <laughs> Do something to help the bull in time. That feel is what the bull made of it. Years of hard work picking stones and drawing seaweed. Back breaking work to be sure. But the widow owns it and she can sell it. Then why didn't she sell it to the bull? Would you like trying to do a business with the bull McCabe? Maybe she thought the auction was the best idea. You're taking the side of the widow lately. Maybe you have a wig off of the widow. But you're doing the club. I'm only trying to see it from both sides. Hello, Miss McCabe. I need a word about the auction today. I want this auction to be a fair auction, McCabe. And I want no intimidation from you. We're only passing through, Father. You leave us to our ways now, and we leave God to his. No intimidation now, Father. Well, gentlemen, great to see you all here. Better start, Flanagan and may the best man win. Who here is going to make me a fine offer for this lovely green grass jar field? 35 pounds, sir. 35 pounds I have from Mr. O'Donnell. 35 pounds I have. Now, uh, that's what I want to hear. 35 pounds I have. Any advance on 35? 35 pounds I have. 40 pounds. 40 pounds I have from Mr. McCabe. 40 pounds I have from Mr. McCabe. Well done, Mr. McCabe. 40 pounds. Any advance on Mr. McCabe's offer? 45 pounds. 45 pounds from the board. I hear you loud and clear. 45 pounds. 45 pounds. That's more like it. 45 pounds I have. Any advance of 45? 45 I have. 50 pounds. 50 pounds I have from Mr. McCabe. 50 pounds I have. Could this be the last bid of the day? 50 pounds I have. 50 pounds I have going once. Going. 55 pounds. 55 pounds I have. 60 pounds. Sixty I have going once. Sixty I have going twice. Sixty-five pounds. Sixty-five I have on my right. Sixty-five I have. Seventy pounds. Well said, boy. We don't have seventy pounds. Seventy pounds I have going once. Seventy-five pounds. Seventy-five pounds I have. Seventy-five I have. Seventy-five I have going once. Seventy-five. Eighty pounds. Eighty pounds. Eighty pounds I have from the Bull McCabe. Eighty pounds I have going once. Stop it! This field will not be sold for eighty pounds. There is a reserve price of one hundred pounds on this field. This is my field. I'm selling it, and I'm going back to my own people. You heard the woman. This is postponed. Let her through. Let her throw. Scatter out there. Why are you interfering, Father? It's none of your business. Why, Mr. McCabe? Why? Because it's the widow's field, and she can do whatever she wishes with it. It's my field. With those bare hands, I picked every crock in it, and every carrick and I made it what it is. All I have on this earth is that green grass, and you want to take it away from me. Here in the sight of God, I won't let it happen. Can't you find another field, McCabe? 
Another field. Another field. It shows as much as you know about what's happening around here. It's the widow's field, and she can sell it. It's the law, the common law. There's another law stronger than the common law, Father. What law is that, McCabe? It's the law of the land. When I was a young lad, I walked that field with my father. One day, he knew there was rain on the wind, and my mother came to help us before the rain came to get the hay in. She was in the corner on the field, and I saw her falling back onto the ground. I let her roar to my father and I ran. My father came over and he knelt beside her. He knew she, knew, she, knew she was dying. He told me to get the priest. And he said, we'll get the hay in first. My father looked at me with tears of pride in his eyes. He knew I'd look after the land. And if you think I'm going to face my mother in heaven or in hell without that land, you have another thing coming to you. No yank and no collar and no weapon will protect the man that stands against me. It would be a good corner to source woods down there, so foot. Be a good yank now. Turn around and go home. I hope you realise you're breaking the law. Give me a bait in there. Give me a bait in there to put him in this place. Give me a bait. Go on tight. Give it to him. Go on tight. Give it to him. Give it to him tight. Go on. Fight. Get up. Give it to him. Give it to him. Get up, Pike. Get up, Pike. Pig! Get up, Pig! The feed is mine! I told you to go home, Yank! For the love of God, I told you to go home! For you'll not see me! In front of my village! In front of my people! You'll not see me! He's dead. He'll be, he'll be all right. He'll be, he'll be all right. He's not moving. He's, he's dead. Oh my God. Oh my God. 